Welcome to this short video on SARS-CoV-2 studies and the FLEX event. In this presentation, I'll cover a brief introduction into the pathophysiology of SARS-CoV-2 infection, outline the currently available preclinical models, present the FLEX event system and describe the range of lung function measurements it makes possible, then using a recent literature example, present a comprehensive lung mechanics assessment in the K18 human ACE2 mouse model with live SARS-CoV-2 infection before summarizing the key reasons why you should assess lung mechanics with the FLEX event in your COVID-19 studies. Although there's still much to learn regarding the pathophysiology of SARS-CoV-2 infection, three stages of COVID-19 disease progression have been proposed. Initial infection can be asymptomatic or result in symptoms which may resemble seasonal allergies or influenza. These symptoms resolve in the vast majority of infections. However, a proportion go on to develop viral pneumonia and require hospitalization and potentially mechanical ventilation. Common observations are pulmonary inflammation, pulmonary edema, highline membrane formation and coagulopathy. This may also escalate to ARDS or an ARDS-like syndrome. The third stage is resolution with the potential for fibrotic remodeling and long-term pulmonary function impairments. SARS-CoV-2 is known to cause mild infections in several species. Current proposed preclinical models are the Syrian hamster, human ACE2 expressing transgenic mouse models, and ferrets. Live virus studies require BSL-3 laboratory facilities, and the FLEX event provides the ideal way to thoroughly characterize these preclinical models of COVID-19. The FLEX event is a mechanical piston ventilator that automates a full range of lung mechanics assessments. The system provides full control over ventilation, single and broadband forced oscillation perturbations, automated pressure volume loops, dose responses and drug delivery via nebulization. It provides complete assessments of lung volumes and capacities and can also offer spirometry-like measurements with the negative pressure forced expiration extension. Image gating through the use of breath holds and triggering of image acquisition, acquisition devices is also possible. Recently published in Nature Immunology, the study by Winkler et al. provides an excellent example of the comprehensive lung mechanics assessments that can be made using the FLEX event. Briefly, in this study, subjects were infected and lung mechanics were assessed at days two, four, and seven post-infection, along with assessments of histopathology, cellular infiltrates, transcriptional profiles, cytokine and chemokine endpoints. Total respiratory system resistance and total respiratory system elastance were assessed using the snapshot perturbation, a single frequency forced oscillation that is fitted to the single compartment model. Significantly increased resistance and elastance were observed at seven days post-infection. Using the quick prime, a broadband forced oscillation fitted to the constant phase model, subjects showed relatively normal Newtonian resistance at seven days post-infection, a measure of central airway resistance whilst the parameters G, tissue damping, and H, tissue elastance, were both significantly elevated at seven days post-infection, indicating that parenchymal tissue resistance and tissue stiffness were increased. Subjects' inspiratory capacities measured by deep inflation of the lungs were significantly reduced at day seven. Pressure volume loops were assessed and a significant right shift was observed in subjects at seven days post-infection with reduced quasi-static compliance, reduced shape parameter K, a weight-independent indication of compliance, and reduced hysteresis, the area between the inflation and deflation limbs of the PV loop, which reflects elastic recoil and lung surface tension. In summary, the FLEX event is widely considered to be the gold standard for assessing lung mechanics in preclinical models and provides a comprehensive array of measurements of measurement techniques in a single system. It provides accurate, sensitive and reproducible results and its modular design enables the use of subjects from three grams through to two kilograms. The system is already at the forefront of COVID research and has been used extensively across fields with a bearing on COVID-19 studies, such as VILI, infectious diseases, ALI and ARDS. This short video has presented a basic introduction to the FLEX event for those considering assessing lung mechanics in COVID-19 models. We have many more resources available. Please contact us directly for more information.